my name is Joe Ng, I'm executive chef of Red Farm. And today we're going to show you how to make dumplings. I like to mix it up with different kinds of dumplings in the same basket or different flavor of a dumpling. So we have a dough with flour, water, salt. First, you use the center of your hand, pushing down. And then we use the flour. Remember, one thing is very important, don't put too much flour on the dough because it will get so hot and hot after you steam. And then we roll and we twist, we roll and we twist. So slow one by one. Any filling you can use for making this kind of dumpling. You can use vegetarian, you can use beef, chicken. We're gonna put filling on the center, as always. Any kind of dumpling, any kind. Do not put the filling the area outside. They won't close. Use the two finger for the dumpling. See my dump level move. You always only use this finger and the left hand and help them pushing. You just push and hold, push and hold. Garlic on the top. Just use the finger, close this one. Push, close, push. This one you, you're just holding from beginning to the end. This for the little fish. That's very easy to make. Close this one and make like the little triangle here. In the back you go like to make a tail. And then you twist a little two hole for their eyeball. And then we use the alamami. Two little sesame. and then we're gonna go and steam it for seven to eight minutes in a professional steamer. At home, you can steam around 10 minutes. In general, when you steam that and you take it out, you rest for like 30 seconds and you put it in a hot pan with oil, medium, until they go golden brown. You don't want both sides, you know, otherwise you go deep fry. Very traditional way to serve with the soup dumpling, we use a slight Julia ginger and black vinegar. That's how people used to serve with. But we are serving the truffle chicken soup dumpling. If you have too strong vinegar, you won't really taste the truffle. So I don't recommend people use it. And we're done.